Ever wondered what a Toyota Yaris might be like with over 250 braked horses beneath the bonnet? No, we hadn't either, but Toyota's made one anyway. The wild GR Yaris. It's a rather unique confection. This car is actually rather significant. It's the first true performance model developed entirely in-house by Toyota in more than 20 years. We've had quick models from the brand in that time, but only with outside assistance. The GT86 developed with Subaru and the GR Supra co-created with BMW. The GR Yaris, in contrast, is entirely the work of Toyota's Gazoo Racing Performance Division, hence the GR moniker. There was a wild version of the last Yaris 2, the Yaris GRMN, but this car is quite a bit more powerful. It now has four-wheel drive and it'll be made in much greater numbers. Its original purpose was to aid homologation of a next generation Yaris World Rally car, although ultimately that competition model never saw the light of day because of COVID cutbacks. Thankfully though, uh, this homologated road model was spared the axe, its purpose being to boost the image of the freshly launched fourth generation Yaris Super Mini. Now, Chief Engineer Nohiko Saito couldn't believe his luck when Toyota asked him and his team to create a Yaris like no other. And he's done exactly that. And created a car that's pretty significant. Aside from SUVs and crossovers, it's the first four-wheel drive road car that Toyota has brought us in over 20 years, the last being the Celica GT4. That model also a road-going World Rally Championship homologated special. This GR Yaris is, in short, the latest in a legendary line of Toyota motorsport-influenced designs. And we're going to test it. So what's the authentic Toyota rally experience here really going to be like? Well, let's find out. Fire the engine and there's a deep but potent clatter. Sounds promising. This, the second Toyota GR Motorsport Influence product, is quite differently orientated from the first. Uh, whereas the GR Supra is a sports car developed through track racing, the GR Yaris is a model engineered instead through participation in rallying, a car very much in the mould of performance classics of the past, like Subaru's Impreza WRX and the Mitsubishi Evo. Those cars use two-litre engines, but units of that size wouldn't fit in a Yaris, and anyway, they'd be too heavy. Even the 1.6-litre power plant that is used here has just three cylinders, but it does pack quite a turbo punch, 257 bhp, 360 newton metres, and 62 from rest in just 5.5 seconds on the way to a maximum of 143 miles an hour. The old Yaris GRMN, for reference, put out uh, 209 brake horsepower. This GR Yaris's powertrain, uh, the world's most powerful three-cylinder engine, is mated to a six-speed IMT intelligent manual transmission stick shift gearbox with permanent four-wheel drive uh, provided by the brand's latest GR4 system. Now, believe it or not, uh, this is the first original sports all-wheel drive system that Toyota has created in 20 years, and it features a multi-plate clutch to bring power to all four wheels via three preset torque distribution levels. Normal has a 60-40 split front to rear, Sport pushes nearly all the power to the back, 30-70, and Track has an equal 50-50 split. There are big brakes too, 356 millimeter grooved front discs featuring four pot calipers and a set of sticky tires, either Dunlop Sport Max or Michelin Pilot Sport rubber. Plus, the regular Yaris model's basic torsion beam rear suspension is replaced here by a more sophisticated double wishbone setup. So, it all sounds pretty promising on paper and it all feels satisfyingly addictive on the road. Predictably, the engine note piped through the cabin speakers via an active noise control system which can't be turned off sounds nothing like the buzzy, thrummy soundtrack that three-cylinder units usually deliver. And you're going to want to rev the engine a little to hear it, although you won't be forced to do that too much because peak torque is available from 3,000 RPM and there's plenty of pulling power available as you build up to that. 
It depends on your choice between the GR Sport Selectors provided settings. Uh, those are those normal sport and track modes. It certainly feels as fast as a bigger motorsport tuned Golf GTR class hot hatch, say a Honda Civic Type R or a Hyundai i30N. Uh, the six speed manual gearbox is good too, an evolution of the superb stick shift that Toyota fitted to its brilliant GT86 Coupe, although some might find its throw a fraction too long. We like the brakes too, they have appropriately arresting stopping power, and that's courtesy of four pot calipers at the front and a two pot setup at the rear with the front discs even bigger than those that are used on the GR Supra. Even the ride is well judged for our roads. Uh, it's firm of course, but not overly so. Unlike other rally replicas we've tried, you could use this one for the day-to-day -day commute. As for the four-wheel drive system, well, it's almost too good. Even in the wet, uh, getting traction to brake free requires hooligan tendencies that would attract the attention of the local constabulary. Otherwise, the car sticks rigidly to almost any chosen cornering line that you care to give it in a determined manner that might not please those who are in search of the kind of tail out antics that designers of this Toyota would probably frown on. It is worth pointing out though that uh, our experience here is of a car fitted with the optional circuit pack which the majority of GR Yaris customers will want. That gets you track tuned GR circuit suspension and Torsen differentials both front and rear that better transmit all that torque to the tarmac. With the circuit pack fitted, uh, Toyota World Rally Championship driver Jerry Matti Latvala, who along with his fellow driver Chris Meek helped to develop this car's handling balance, uh, he reckons that this hot hatch is about as close to the real Yaris World Rally car as it's possible for any road going model to get. Now if that doesn't fire you up to want to try this Toyota, then it's really probably not the car for you. If it does though, then we think you're going to absolutely love it. Engineer Naihiko Saito was put under pressure here to retain the regular Yaris model's five-door body shell, but he wasn't having it. He held out for a stiffer, bespoke three-door body that no other Yaris model in the range can have. And that's not the only thing that's different here over an ordinary hybrid Yaris. Virtually everything else has changed too. In fact, only the headlights, uh, the door mirrors, the rear light clusters and the shark fin roof antenna have been carried over to this wild GR model, which is 55 millimeters longer and sits 45 millimeters lower than its more conservative showroom stablemate. This car is certainly not short of overtaking presence thanks to this huge GR branded rectangular honeycomb mesh trimmed lower grille flanked by large vertical inlets for the brake duct and intercooler which incorporate circular LED fog lights. Lower down uh, there's this prominent spoiler which has a downforce generating shape and a raised centre section which uh, controls the flow of air beneath the car. Uh, rally homologation rules require this body shell to closely follow that of the ordinary production Yaris, but within that brief, the design team was still able to make a few other changes. Perhaps most notable here is the roof line. It's 95 millimeters lower than the regular hatch, and that roof is fashioned from forged carbon, to be specific, CSMC, a carbon sheet molding compound, and that saves three and a half kilos compared to a steel roof, and it helps to lower this car's center of gravity. Uh, that's just one example of the designer's passion for weight saving, and that explains why some of the body parts here intentionally flex to the touch. Uh, the bonnet, the doors, and the tailgate, they're all fashioned from aluminium, and the payoff is a relatively feather-like curb weight figure for a four-wheel drive super hatch, 1,280 kilos. The wheel design has also been chosen to save weight, about 10 kilos, and the 18-inch forged 10-spoke BBS alloy rims with red calipers that are fitted here signal that this particular car has been fitted with the optional circuit pack that most GR Yaris customers want. Those rims sit in the huge arches which curve around into the rear section which dominates the view that most other motorists will have of this Toyota, that of the car rapidly receding away into the distance. Uh, a big increase in rear track width was necessary to incorporate these, hence this model's 60mm increase in width over a normal Yaris. 
Uh, GR branding features on this tailgate alongside the right-hand LED light cluster. The tapering of the roof and the rear pillars and the addition of this deep high mounted spoiler, they enhance downforce and aerodynamic performance too. That's also improved uh, by the shape of the rear diffuser down there. Toyota calls this an aero step and it's stylistically folded into the bumper unit. Oh yes, the bumper, uh, that's different too. That's made of a material called TSOP. That stands for Toyota Super Olefin Polymer. That allows for a thinner construction and that achieves a 38% weight reduction. Underneath it all, uh, the platform that this car sits on shares only the front end with the ordinary Yaris model's GAB chassis. The rear end uses the bigger GAC underpinnings from the larger Corolla hatch. So it's brash outside, but what will this car be like behind the wheel? Let's pull back this bespoke driver's door with its frameless window. Take a look. Things are certainly a little more restrained in here, although you still won't recognise a great deal from your granny's Yaris Hybrid. Uh, there's a manual gear lever for a start, which is a bit of a shock on a modern Yaris. Uh, the lever's set high and close to the wheel for rapid shifts. Uh, that wheel is bespoke and leather stitched, of course, the GR Sports Cross Section. That's known as the GR Grip, which is designed to provide a snug fit in the driver's palm. You sit on specially designed and very supportive race style sports seats trimmed in lovely ultra suede upholstery with contrast stitching and set at just the right angle to reach the drilled aluminium sports pedals. The instrument binnacle uh, that has the same binocular style arrangement as a standard Yaris but of course uh, extra functions have been added to it to reflect this GR model's specific performance qualities. Uh, the two analog meters have white figures and red needles and if you look closely you'll see a rev counter that red lines at 7000 rpm and a speedometer that goes to 180 miles an hour. Yes, in a Yaris. Now between these two gauges the 4.2 inch TFT color information display adds an all-wheel drive indicator showing the torque distribution and mode selected for the GR4 all-wheel drive system plus there's also a turbo pressure monitor. What else? Uh, well this GR Yaris has a mechanical hand-operated parking brake which Toyota suggests that the driver can use for cornering and rally stage driving. Uh, we wouldn't recommend you try that though, although apparently jerking up the handbrake lever to slide the back of the car out around hairpin bends would be possible. That's thanks to a specific function of the GR4 coupling system and that fully opens the coupling when the handbrake's used. Uh, focus instead on this GR4 selector which is set just forward of the gear lever for easy changes between the cars provided normal, sport and track modes. Push for normal, twist left for sport and right for track. What else? Well, there's plenty of GR badging around the cabin to remind you what you've bought. You'll find it here on the steering wheel, on the engine start button, uh, the headrests and the floor mats. Plus, there's a little plaque on the centre console by the handbrake. The 8-inch central Toyota Touch 2 infotainment screen, that has a GR logo on Startup 2. But otherwise, this display is familiar from other Toyota models. And to be frank, it is rather past its sell-by date. Uh, it has dated graphics and a rather clunky menu interface. It incorporates a six-speaker audio system, or in this case, the upgraded eight-speaker JBL system, uh, plus there's Bluetooth and a reversing camera. But you only get navigation if you pay extra for the optional convenience pack. There's not too much to fault about the rest of this interior though. Uh, the cabin is finished in black with smoke silver trim details around the door handles, uh, the centre console, the steering wheel and the side air vents. Plus it's easy to get comfortable thanks to the driver's seat wide range of height, fore, aft and seat back angle manual adjustment. All round visibility is helped by the fact that you sit quite high and that aids your view both forwards and to the side. But because this Yaris features a heavily tapered roof line, uh, the rear window there is tiny. So you'll be making frequent use of the standard all round parking sensors and the rear view camera. As for cabin storage room, well there's a decently sized glove box. Uh, there are reasonably spacious door pockets and plenty of spaces scattered around the interior for smaller items. There's a tray for your mobile phone uh, just under the infotainment monitor here and there's a USB port below the climate controls. Build quality, 
Seems pretty reasonable too. The car is built exclusively and much of it by hand at a new Toyota Gazoo racing production facility created within Toyota's Motomachi plant in Japan. Let's take a look in the rear. Now access uh, to that is made easier by the generous forward tipping angle of those front seats. Once in the back, well, there's not a lot of space, with headroom especially at the premium, thanks to the lowered roof line. For more than a short trip, you'd have to be of school age not to grasp about the prospect of being confined here for very long. Still, GR Yaris customers will typically only really need these rear pews for kids, uh, for whom Icefix child seat anchor points with top tethers are provided. This back seat will only accommodate two people because the central area is taken up by this tray. Uh, no USB points or seat back pockets are provided, but you do get reading lights and a coin tray between the front seats. Uh, there's not a great deal of luggage space either. This trunk is compact, it's 880 millimetres long and 1423 mils wide, which means that capacity is rated at just 174 litres. And you better not get a puncture. All the space in this underfloor area is occupied by the accessory battery, so this GR Yaris has to have a tyre repair kit in place of a spare wheel. There's no proper parcel shelf either, just this flimsy cloth item. Space-wise, things improve, of course, when you lower the 60-40 split rear backrests. Certainly helps that with the seats folded like that, uh, you don't get the kind of awkward step up over the folded seat backs that you'd have to put up with in a rival Fiesta ST. In this configuration, uh, there's a space large enough, Toyota claims, to carry a set of four large tyres or a bicycle. Uh, it would be a squeeze, but OK, we'll take their word for it. So, would you pay £30,000 or more for a Toyota Yaris? Well, apparently quite a lot of people would because Toyota reports great interest in its UK GR Yaris allocation. From launch, the GR Yaris priced in standard form from around £30,000, but most customers will want one of the two packs that we'll brief you on in a moment, the convenience pack, or as in this case, the circuit pack. Many customers these days, of course, buy on finance, so they're going to want to know about the PCP offers, which make a GR Yaris pretty accessible. Uh, from launch, Toyota was talking about monthly payments from £269, the standard model, £289 with the convenience pack, and £299 with the circuit pack. All of these available on Toyota Access Flex Finance with 0% APR representative for 24 months or 1.8% APR representative over 42 months. Check with your dealer for current offer rates. However you want to take ownership, uh, you'll need to be quick. If you want one of these, Toyota is importing just a thousand of them a year to our market. Obviously, there are lots of super mini hot hatch rivals that cost substantially less than this wild Toyota. The Ford Fiesta ST and the Mini Cooper S come to mind, but none of them will feel as special or as race ready as this wild Yaris. It'll probably sell to the kind of person who might want something like a mini John Cooper Works GP, a Hyundai i20N or a Ford Fiesta ST Performance Edition or perhaps the kind of customer who would otherwise have chosen something motorsport tuned from the next GTI class up, uh, maybe say a Honda Civic Type R or a Hyundai i30N. If understandably you've come to the conclusion that there's nothing quite like a GR Yaris, uh, you'll want to know exactly how generous Toyota has been when it comes to the standard spec. So let's take a look at that now. The standard version comes with 18-inch, 15-spoke forged alloy wheels shod with Dunlop Sport Max tyres. Plus, it gets dual exit exhaust pipes, keyless entry, active noise control, and the three driving modes, which control the GR4 all-wheel drive system. The power-operated door mirrors have an auto-retract function and black casings. Uh, plus, there are all-round parking sensors. Uh, also, performance touches include a dual exhaust, a shark fin antenna, a black rear spoiler, carbon fibre roof, uh, rear privacy glass, GR badging and a bespoke GR lower grille. The automatic LED headlights have an adaptive high beam and the front fog lights uh, use LED technology too. 
In the cabin, the sports front seats are upholstered in ultra suede with contrast red stitching and GR logos feature in the integrated headrests. The GR badging is also picked up in the carpet mats and on the three-spoke leather-trimmed GR Sport steering wheel. Uh, the Toyota Touch 2 multimedia system that features an 8-inch touchscreen plus a six-speaker DAB audio system and smartphone integration via Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, you can also tick off dual zone air conditioning, smart entry and push button start, an auto dimming rear view mirror, 60-40 split folding rear seats, a reversing camera and automatic windscreen wipers. If the car's stolen, then it can be tracked and its location found by the owner uh, contacting a provided Toyota Smart Center number. Earlier we mentioned that there were two extra cost packs available. Uh, for those with a road use focus, there's the convenience pack for £2,180 more. Uh, well, for those with track driving in mind, there's the circuit pack, which has been fitted here for £3,500 more. The convenience pack gets you various luxury features, including a JBL 8-speaker premium audio system, uh, satellite navigation, ambient cabin lighting, a head-up display, front and rear parking sensors, plus two extra camera safety features, a blind spot monitor and rear cross-traffic alert. Alternatively, there's the circuit pack, which puts the focus firmly on performance, introducing GR sports-tuned suspension and steering, front and rear Torsen limited slip differentials, 18-inch forged alloy wheels with Grippier Michelin Pilot 4S tyres, an engine undercover and red brake calipers bearing the Toyota Gazoo Racing GR logo. There aren't really any options. Uh, Toyota hopes that if you want more kit, you'll simply upgrade yourself to one of those two optional packs, but you will almost certainly be paying your Toyota dealer more for your GR Yaris's chosen paint color. Uh, there are four choices, and they're all selected to match Toyota Gazoo Racing's competition colors. So, Super White is the only shade that's fitted as standard. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to pay more for a metallic shade like uh, Precious Black, or nearly 900 pounds more for one of the two available pearlescent shades. Uh, this Platinum White Pearl, or alternatively, there's Scarlet Flame. Flare. On to safety. Now, Toyota is keen to remind us that the standard Yaris body shell is an intrinsically strong one, engineered to deform, absorb, and dissipate impact forces in a controlled manner in the event of a collision, uh, protecting the integrity of the passenger cell. And this car, like all current new Toyotas, benefits from the brand's Safety Sense package of camera safety features. Uh, they equip the car with active safety and driver assistance systems, which can help to prevent some of the more common accident risks. Uh, the package includes the latest advances in the system's functionality too. Now these include the PCS, pre-collision autonomous braking system's ability to detect pedestrians in the car's path during both day and nighttime driving, plus bicycle riders during daylight hours. Plus, in the latest form, the PCS setup can also provide intersection turn assistance, which helps to avoid the risk of colliding with another vehicle or with a pedestrian when you're making a turn at a junction. Now, if intersection turn assistance detects a pedestrian uh, crossing the carriageway that the car is just about to turn into, or if this Yaris is just about to move across the path of oncoming traffic, it'll sound an alert, and if the driver fails to respond, it'll apply automatic emergency braking. Uh, it operates at speeds between 6 and 15 miles an hour. There's also intelligent adaptive cruise control, which operates at both high and low speeds, and this automatically adapts the vehicle's speed in relation to the traffic ahead of you. Now, while the system is engaged, operation will continue until the driver uses the clutch to change gear. Uh, to restart the system, the driver simply has to press the ACC button again. What else? Um, well, there's lane departure alert that helps to prevent the GR Yaris from unintentionally straying from its lane of traffic. Uh, the system sounds an alert and it provides selectable steering control to bring the car back into line. Uh, there is also lane trace assist. Uh, now that will automatically keep the vehicle centered in its lane and it will recognize and monitor both markings on the road surface and the road margins, uh, things like curbs, grass or earth. 
Uh, the safety sense package also includes road sign assist. Now that replicates key warnings and command road signs on the driver's multi-information display. And there's also automatic high beam. Now that dips your headlights automatically for you at night in the face of oncoming traffic. Uh, there is also a tyre pressure warning system. Now this constantly monitors the pressures independently in each of the four wheels and warns the driver if there is any drop in pressure uh, which might compromise either fuel economy or safety. It further allows the driver to set and to monitor the ideal tyre pressure to suit racetrack use or the owner's personal driving style. Also standard is an e-call system, uh, one of those that will automatically report the car's location to an emergency operator if there's an impact which triggers an airbag. As part of this, there's also an SOS button in the cabin that can be used to contact a call centre and to summon emergency help. Uh, if you want more, then you'll have to have ticked the box for that optional convenience pack that we mentioned earlier. Uh, now that, uh, as previously mentioned, has two additional camera safety features in it. Uh, the blind spot monitor, that stops you from pulling dangerously out when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. And rear cross traffic alert, now that warns you of approaching traffic when you're reversing out of a space. If you're buying this car, you won't give two hoots about fuel economy and CO2 emissions. For reference though, you'll probably be averaging about 25 mpg in regular use. That's providing you don't continually floor the thing. And if you resist the temptation to do that on a regular basis, then you probably shouldn't have bought this car in the first place. Uh, it probably doesn't help actually that despite all those wings and fins, the drag coefficient isn't anything to write home about though. Uh, it's 0.35 CD. The official WLTP rated efficiency figure is 34.3 mpg on the combined cycle. That'll mean uh, the need for regular replenishment of the 50 litre fuel tank. The official WLTP emissions return is 186 grams per kilometre of CO2. Uh, the engineers did their best to make the purpose-designed G16E GTS three-cylinder engine beneath the bonnet as efficient as it could reasonably be. Here's the science bit, so feel free to switch off for a few seconds if you don't really care about the uh, engineering semantics of the dual VVTI power plant. In the Yaris GR, the high-pressure D4S direct fuel injection system operates with increased pressure and that's to achieve finer spray atomization. The high tumble airflow in the combustion chamber increases the dispersion of the injected fuel and that enhances engine performance. Uh, plus the six hole spray design avoids interference with the valves to help to achieve uh, lower emissions and it's been optimized for precise control. Uh, the port injection is via long nozzle 10 hole injectors and intake port flow has been optimized to reduce fuel adhesion to the walls, contributing to fuel and emissions efficiency. What else might you need to know? While well, the car is covered by the usual comprehensive five-year, 100,000-mile Toyota warranty, and the insurance group will be either 35 or, if you opt for the circuit pack, group 36. Motorsport homologation rules, uh, those requiring competition cars to be based on a limited production run of a similar road going variant, have brought us uh, some of the greatest driver's cars of all time. Uh, models like the Lancia Delta Integrale, Porsche 911 GT3 and the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. Here's another to add to that exalted list. It's that good and it's a lot more than just another hot hatch. In summary, there's nothing remotely sensible about this car, and that's exactly why its small band of loyal buyers will like it. There are lots of super mini hot hatches that on paper seem a no-brainer choice over a pricey GI Yaris, but on the road, none of them will feel as raw or perhaps as exciting. This is as close as Toyota Gazoo Racing can get to bringing you a Yaris World Championship rally car fettled for road use. More power to them.